Good evening, everyone. I'm Melanie Christopher. And I'm Jade Belexa, in for Byron Brown. So the COVID-19 pandemic, another day with over 860 confirmed coronavirus cases statewide. Now, this brings Mississippi to nearly 38,000 total cases since March. And Governor Tate Reeves saying we're currently in the middle of a spike right now. And one of the biggest issues outside of sheer volume in cases is having space to keep all the patients. Now, as the COVID numbers rise, so do the hospitalizations. And doctors say it's a warning. We need to do a better job of changing our ways. 12 News' Kayla Thompson spoke to a local doctor about the situation. She joins us here in the studio. Kayla? Hospitalizations are at an all-time high, and numbers keep trending up. Right now, hospitals just don't have enough people, space, or equipment to treat everyone. If we look at hospital capacity, today there are 10 ICUs in Mississippi that have zero beds available. Overwhelming our health care system. This is something health professionals have been warning us about for months. And now for many Mississippi hospitals, this is a reality. Every time we add uh, 500 new cases, you can predict we're going to have um, another 85 hospitalizations associated with that. With more and more COVID patients coming into hospitals, there is less room for elective surgeries to be done. And if we don't slow the spread of the virus soon, it could be a deadly situation for many. I mean, I have a place to put a trauma patient, or I, mean, I have a place to put a sick heart attack patient or a stroke patient, because we have all these other patients that are in the hospital that need to be there, but they're there because people didn't take the particular precautions that they were being asked to take from a public health perspective. Dr. Jones says we have to recognize that although we want to do things like we used to, it's just not time yet. And hospitals do have a breaking point. Just because you want to go to the beach and you want to go to Disney World and you want to have a barbecue doesn't magically make the virus disappear. It's still there. It's still going to spread. It's still going to make people sick. And we just have to come to grips with that. And try to adapt the best that we can to that reality. And seeing rising numbers of cases and hospitalizations has one group calling for a statewide mask mandate. What we do know is if we can decrease community spread, if we can decrease the number of folks who are going into the hospital and need that hospital care, then we can take that burden off the system and have some hospital beds now available. The McGee General Hospital has decided to stop allowing visitors to protect vulnerable patients inside the facility. And as more hospital staff work to combat the demand they're faced with every day, they are asking for all of us to help out by doing the simple things to slow the spread. To see the latest coronavirus numbers and learn how you can protect you and your family, you can go to WJTV.com.